Hills look great. Looks like a lot of fun. There's some stair steps, maybe some maybe some big jumps, some big rocks are gonna tear some stuff up, you know, and uh, the cockroach is gonna get stupid here in a minute and we'll see what happens. up there. I don't know what to tell you. We didn't make the hill, didn't break nothing, but we rolled a couple times and we'll do it again. The South has some of the baddest off-road vehicles in the nation, with some of the wildest drivers behind the wheel. Their make it or break it driving style packs out events all over the country. The hills are insane, and so is the carnage. This time we are at Wildcat Off-Road Park in East Bernstadt, Kentucky, and this is round three of the 2019 Southern Rock Racing Series. Now, these guys got some pretty rowdy hills here at Wildcat, and they got two of them today they're gonna try to hit, and I don't think everybody's gonna make it out the top. They're pretty sketchy little hill climbs that they got here in Kentucky, so there's a bunch of guys that brought a whole lot of horsepower, and it's gonna be a good show, so stay tuned. All right, Bo, you're later coming in today, so go is goal is to spread the gap a little more keep putting pressure on and get some more points that's what we're going to do today hill one will be fast there's a lot of room for error on it and then hill two is kind of a bounty hill but we should it should be doable as long as it don't rain all right good luck today all right, thank you there how you doing danny pretty good how about yourself all righty you ready for today <laughs> yes sir buggy's uh, about as ready as she can be and uh we're gonna give it what we got just drive let the buggy do the work i hope what do you think about the hills today uh they're pretty wimpy i mean they could have picked something a lot tougher uh can y'all turn my mic up i'm getting a little feedback <laughs> 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 no nah, they're i think they're gonna be pretty good hills i think they could potentially change a lot but i don't think they'll be unclimbable or anything i think we can stay committed and roll on out the top going for the podium today that's what we're going for All yes right. sir. yes sir. going for the podium again that All was right. a good feeling i like that i ain't done that too much in a bouncer did it in a razor a bunch but not a lot in a bouncer but we're gonna try to change that this year all right good luck today thank you sir Here's a rundown, Bobby. What about today? Uh, we got two hills there, pretty good hills. Uh, this one right here, I think we're gonna have to stay to the right to get over, but you know, it'll be, all, it'll be a pretty good show for the crowd. Well, it's the same two hills we hit every year, but you know, they're, they're really fun. That one over there, I mean, it's like it always is. Right at the very top, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hit it just right to get over it, but we'll, we'll get over and we'll have a good time. Hill two's have almost fun. turned into a little bit of a bounty, ain't it? Just about, just a little bit of a bounty, yep. But we'll have a good time. All right, good luck today. Thank you. Doing wheel race prep? Uh, my shifter linkage broke for some reason. Oh, well, at least it did it down here. Yes, sir. It's set on the hill. At least you know you don't got reverse. What you don't. You? you don't need that. Nah, it's just extra stuff.
Good job. Good job. Great. Good. What's that, Bill? I was just Shit. focused on getting through the finish line. I didn't care if I was in reverse or what. Well, if you didn't cross it, a tree did. Something, Something crossed had it. to have tripped the line. <laughs> had to. Threads are good. Yeah, but we need to cut this crap to get up. So. Hey, if nobody's got a chainsaw. It's a cute little chainsaw. Is that Fisher Price? What do you hook on? Are you ready, Sam? We're ready. Ready to see what she's gonna do today. First time out with your new setup this weekend. Yep. We finally finally got it going and my tuner guy Chris Kathner's sure been working hard to get this thing going and we're we're excited to send it up the hill and see how it's gonna run. All right, good luck today. Thank you, sir. What did it pop? It's a relay. It did it the other day too when really? I was testing. Yeah. I got gonna do it. Thank you. Felt. Oh, it looked amazing. Felt good. Man. Yeah, it looked real good. That's Anybody got any vice grips? Yeah. You're on a run. We'll get it worked out. Man, it looks looks uh, really good. You got a obviously a little bit of throttle control and uh, keep that forward momentum going. Looks like you got to run the right side about halfway up the hill and start working it back left and when you get to that last upper ledge to the floor and see if you can skip up through the top. All righty. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you.
fast. <laughs>
So for Hill 2, we have uh, Bubba Bacon in the lead, and then we have Tim Cameron in second, and third place, Tim Bacon, or little Tim Bacon. So it's anybody's game at this point on Hill 2. How about Hill 2 today, Todd? Hill 2, I'm going to be first today, and i got to be honest with you, I think I'd like to try to hit it like they did the last time. I'd like to hit it right, come back across left, let it settle, and go. That's, that's going to be what I'm going to attempt. But, you know how rock bouncing is. You want to go right and your left, you want to go left and your right, and you're upside down. Then you got to bust a knuckle. All right, good luck today. Thanks. Well, we were, you know, after hill one, we were down a few seconds. So we we're going to try to make it up uh, by going on the far left-hand side uh, on that on that climb to kind of straight line it. Straight line it. We've with the tires that we're running, the horsepower we have, felt you know that we could just blitz right over the top of it, and it, it worked for the most part. But it's such a hard hit, you know, it kind of jostled me around, and I, and I lost a little bit of the, of the pedal, and. When it did, backed up, and then then you go into full panic mode at that point because you want you just want to make the finish line, and, and we hit it real hard on on that left side again. You know, I backed up, didn't have a real big run, and I it, I guess it flipped up about 90 degrees, and somehow it, it you know it was God turning it back on its tires. It wasn't me, so but uh, we ended up rolling it over. We tore up some minor stuff. It's not a whole lot. We got the a shaft on the bypass on the uh, front left and. We got a flat tire, uh, but these new tires were running. You know, it, it actually helped us out. It didn't break the wheel or anything. All it did was hair lift the inner bead lock. So uh, that's an easy fix, just a rock ring is all it is. So you know, it'll be back together in no time. And uh, you know, we got to order a new shaft and rebuild the bypass. We should be good to go. Show them the shock air. This is all that's left of it. Yeah, that's all that's left. Just, you know, these things don't take a side load. And what it is, it just, you know, kissed the rock on the way down when I was sliding on the driver's side. So that's all it was. It's not a big fix at all. So all right. we appreciate all y'all watching, all the filming you guys are doing. It means the world to us. All right. So. Good luck to the next race. Yes, sir. Thank you.
It's always entertaining when Timmy is not in the lead because he drives that buggy on the ragged edge to try to make up for it, and it is awesome. Hill two look pretty easy for you this time. Yeah, we uh, you know, we're we're slowly learning how to take a ledge in this car. Um, you know, my old car would buck up and jump around. This thing just it, it soaks it up. Um, so I'm stepping up, you know, a couple clicks every time and, and hitting things a little bit harder, and it just seemed to float right over hill too. Yeah, that's uh, first time you made it over second hill on this. Wild yes, sir, man. This is uh, this is round three on this hill. Uh, it's been a muddy mess every time. It's always dug out. Uh, you know, the ledge is nowhere near. Uh, it, it, I should say it. It doesn't look as bad as it is. Um, you get up there, you, it throws you left, it throws you right. You're all over the place. So uh, you just got to kind of hold on and stand in it. All right. Good luck, the rest of the season. Thank you, sir.
OG hill killer right there. Big Tim Bacon out of the top with a flat tire and that motor is running like four cylinders. Think about it, first time out. Well, I come from third track, nobody put me in a wall today. If I'm gonna tear something up, I'm gonna tear it up myself. Finish in one piece, live five another day. You gonna come back and try it again? Oh yeah. All righty, sounds like a plan. Be here next time. What you think about that second hill? It's good, it's good. I wanted to hit the left, but everybody talked me out of it. <laughs> Sometimes they talk you out of things. It's probably good. Yeah. I made my mistake for the year out there on Hill too. I've never seen one little bobble. I hope. I hope that was my mistake. Timmy says he needs some more bobbles. Need a few more bobbles. Get a playing field back down level. Yeah. It's all right though. We're all having a good time. It's all fine. Yeah, we had a blast. Good day of racing. It's great day. Look here. No mud. That's right. Rise up. <laughs> all right. We had enough mud this year. All right. Good luck, Chris. Thank you, yeah, thank you, bud.
Bobby Tanner, ladies and gentlemen, puts on a show every time. Every time. Uh, the first hill was pretty good, pretty slick. We did we did a good job on the first hill. Was, I didn't have a very good time on the first hill, so I thought on the second hill I was just going to play. So I knew I didn't have no chance whatsoever of winning, so I just went out for a show. And I tried to put on a little bit of show for the crowd. But we did what we did. We had a good time. That's all it's all about. Having fun. You had fun. It looked I had like fun. It. I had a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Smith got a sock sponsor, guys. Dog bones, stuff on it. Why else would he be showing it off?
it's going pretty good. Still got a little bit of bugs to work out, but we're going to take it back to tuner and we're going to get her dialed in and be ready to go. Luckily, we made both hills, and that's always a good day. It's better than crashing, I guess. So yeah. I guess we'll see y'all next time. Hey man, what happened, bro? Man, cockroach went crazy. Cockroach flew off that big rock up there. I don't know what to tell you. We didn't make the hill, didn't break nothing, but we rolled a couple times and we'll do it again. Have fun at it, though, did you? They just told me that that was the fastest time. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that was pretty fast. Was you, were you the fastest run on that hill? Yes, sir. I believe so. If we could just get it running on the first hill, and be on that podium today. We're coming. Yep. <laughs> Walk me through uh, your first run. Uh, first run felt super good. I felt super fast out of the hole and uh, smooth. You know, a lot of guys were kind of bobbling on that ditch, and I felt nothing. 
Um, bottom side of the hill really just kind of felt like a highway. Drove right up it, got up there to the little bit bigger wall right before the top and uh, all of a sudden like I ran out of fuel. And uh, it kind of clicked in my head. We burnt up a uh, fuel pump relay last week when we were testing. So I knew right away that had to be what it was. Sure enough, pulled the panel off, switched to relay and fired right back up. So we knew that's what we had to fix for hill two. Um, I figured the longer I could leave the pumps off, the better off I'd be. Left them off, pulled up to the line, shut the buggy off, fired it up and just cruised to the top on hill two. Yeah, felt thumb, good, felt walk, smooth. Walk me through hill two. Hill two was really, uh, you know, I don't know, when I looked at these hills this morning, I kind of, there's really nothing intimidating about hill two until you get to that undercut ledge. and. You know, uh, Jake Berkey told me when before I ever built anything, he said, when you walk up to a ledge, he said, if it's below your knee, don't lift. And uh, I knew that one was right above the knee. I thought, you know, I know Berkey built the best buggies in the world, so I'm not going to lift. So I got up there, feathered throttle, straightened the buggy up, stood on it, and out the top we went. Hell yeah. We're coming. Good job. All right, folks, that is it for Wildcat. Big congrats to the Bacon Boys getting the second, third place on the podium. And Tim Cameron pulls off that first place, trying to make up for Windrock. So he's trying to claw his back, his way back up to the top of the points. Y'all want to watch some older episode of Rock Rods? They're all over here, actually. And uh, yeah, what about Gold Rush, man? He, <clears throat> this is his second race in that buggy, and this fuel pump had to cut out on him on that first hill. He'd been sitting on that top spot. So we're pumped about that. We're excited about how well that buggy's doing, and uh, can't wait to do some more rock bouncing. <laughs>